Assalamualaikum dear students you are watching MLT MCQs I am Kamran today MCQs will be from hormones test and we will talk about 13 best MCQs so let's start the MCQs our MCQ number one is what is the purpose of aldosterone what is the purpose of aldosterone options for this MCQ are controls blood pressure controls fluid and electrolyte balance retains sodium all of the above and the right answer for this MCQ is option number four all of the above the purpose of aldosterone in our body is to control blood pressure as well as control fluid and electrolyte balance as well as retains sodium mcq number 2 is which of the following hormone signals the adrenal glands to release aldosterone which of the following hormone signals the adrenal glands to release aldosterone options for this mcq are renin cortisol phenytoin or dexamethasone and the right answer for this question is option number one renin is the hormones that signals the adrenal glands to release aldosterone so the right answer for mcq number two is renin mcq number three is what is the reason for ordering the thyroid stimulating hormone TSH test? What is the reason for ordering the thyroid stimulating hormone TSH test? Options for this MCQ are to assess hypothalamus disorder, to assess hyperpituitarism, to assess hypopituitarism, all of the above. And the right answer for this MCQ is option number 4. To assess hypothalamus disorder, to assess hyperpituitarism, and to assess hypopituitarism. So, for these purposes, the thyroid stimulating hormone TSH test is ordered. So, MCQ number 4 is why is the parathyroid hormone pth test administered why is the parathyroid hormone pth test administered options for this mcq are to assess the cause of hyperparathyroidism to assess cholesterol levels to assess thyroid levels to assess insulin like growth factor 1 which is also called igf1 so the right answer for this MCQ is option number one to assess the cause of hyperparathyroidism. MCQ number five is what is the purpose of cortisol? What is the purpose of cortisol? Options for this MCQ are increase blood pressure, to increase glucose, to decrease immune response all of the above and the right answer for this mcq is option number four the purpose of cortisol is to increase blood pressure to increases glucose to decreases immune response mcq number six is what does the adrenocorticotropic hormone acth test measure what does the adrenocorticotropic hormone ACTH test measure? Options for this MCQ are adrenocorticotropic hormone, corticotropin releasing hormone, cortisol, all of the above. And the right answer for this question is option number one adrenocorticotropic hormone. Dear students, subscribe to our channel MLT MCQs in this channel MCQs are given every other day from all MLT subjects which will be helpful in all your exams whether the exams are from your college or university or for foreign jobs so kindly subscribe our channel 
MLT MCQs. MCQ number 7 is what is the purpose of the luteinizing hormone LH test? What is the purpose of the luteinizing hormone LH test? Options for this MCQ are to assess the cause of infertility, to assess menopause, to assess precocious puberty, all of the above. And the right answer for this question is option number 4. The purpose of the luteinizing hormone LH test is to assess the cause of infertility, to assess menopause, to assess precocious puberty. MCQ number 8 is when is estriol measured? When is estriol measured? Options for this MCQ are in women who have finished menopause, in non-pregnant women during the menstrual cycle, in pregnant women who are in at least the ninth week of pregnancy, in women who are in menopause. And the right answer for this uh, uh, MCQ is option number 3. The estriol level is measured in pregnant women who are in at least the ninth week of pregnancy. MCQ number 9 is what is the function of dexamethasone? What is the function of dexamethasone? Options for this MCQ are suppresses ACTH, increases cortisol levels, increases ACTH, tests for Addison disease and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 1. The function of dexamethasone is to suppresses ACTH which is also called adrenocorticotropic hormone. MCQ number 10 is in the absence of ACTH what can cause a release of cortisol? In the absence of ACTH what can cause a release of cortisol? Options for this MCQ are ACTH, dexamethasone, adrenal gland tumor, ACT and the right answer for this option is option number 3 adrenal gland tumor. So, in the absence of ACTH the adrenal gland tumor can cause release of cortisol. MCQ number 11 is hormones are biochemical messengers that signal blank and organ. This MCQ is very important. Hormones are biochemical messengers that signal blank and organ. Options for this MCQ are fluid, glands, arteries or skull and the right answer for this option for this MCQ is option number 2 glands. So, hormones are biochemical messengers that signal glands as well as organs. MCQ number 12 is T3 hormone is also called blank. T3 hormone is also called blank. Options for this MCQ are thyroxine, thyroid stimulating hormone, free thyroxine, triiodothyronine. And the right answer for this MCQ is option number 4. T3 hormone is also called triiodothyronine. Our last MCQ is when calcium level in blood is high, phosphorus level in blood is blank. This MCQ is also very important. When calcium level in blood is high, phosphorus level in blood is blank. Options for this MCQ are high, normal, low, both low and high and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 3, low. So, when calcium level in blood is high, phosphorus level in blood is low. Thank you so much dear students. That is all for today. Like this video and share it with your friends. Take good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.